technique for felting involves sitting on my porch at the cottage. It's not a really uh, difficult process. And so this is my bucket, literally a bucket of hot water with some dishwashing liquid in it and brand new $2.58 plunger. And of course, my piece of material that I want to felt. And I push it down and I let it sit there. I, I find that if I let it sit for about 10 minutes, it gets really saturated. I just, small agitation in there. And it's very hot water, but it came right out of the tap. So, I didn't boil any water. I suppose you could go and boil it some more. But let it sit about 10 minutes in that nice, hot, sudsy water. And then we start doing our work. I'll join you then. Over about a 20, 25 minute period of time, you're gonna take the uh, plunger and agitate the um, fabric that you want to felt. And right now, every oh, few minutes, I reach in and I check it and I agitate it a little bit more, rub it, because I want to see how it's coming along. And in this case, it's just starting to get soaked up. So I'm going to keep agitating and I'm going to keep, and each color, oddly enough, takes its own sweet time. The red doesn't felt as nice as the blue and the black I haven't tried yet. So here I'm doing black with this. I want to make sure it's all agitated really nice. I keep a towel next to me because it's getting kind of fallish weather today and I'll get chapped hands otherwise. But it's still really nice sitting out here by the lake. And it just takes time to do it. And that's what I do for about, no, oh, 25 minutes. But it's such a pleasant day to sit out here and do it. Why not? Plus, it doesn't clog up your the pipes in your uh, drainage system at home. It doesn't buzz up your machines. Um, other than I don't have a machine up here, but it doesn't the the there, there'll be a certain amount. It hasn't started breaking down yet, but the wool will start to fuzz off a bit, and that happens about. 20 minutes and that's when you start watching it real carefully and because it'll you'll start feeling pieces of it fuzzing off that was from an earlier time but it'll start fuzzing off and when it does it goes fast so you got to watch it at that point in particular right now it's just getting itself it's starting to soften. I can feel it in my hands. It's softening. And I, see, now there is a little piece of, I think it's a piece of yarn that fell off. But it's starting. I can feel it. See how it's starting? You'll see it in your hands. It'll start coming off in your hands. Squeeze it out. Rub it, and rub it, and on the, these things I want to make sure they shrink down because they're really long, but I wanted to make sure it was nice and long for a tall person. You can always knot them or cut them later and shorten them, but you can't lengthen them. Once, oh yeah, see it's starting to felt, you can see it's starting to fuzz off just a little bit. Back to agitation. But it's not going to take too long now. Get that 
nice suds going. The black is hardly felting at all, which is rather interesting. It's all the same brand wool. It's all, but the thighs will do things to you. Yeah, it's starting to felt. I can feel it. It's not quite coming off on me yet. Let's see how the pocket is doing. If I can I see it. Oh, it's turned inside out. <laughs> I can still see and distinguish the stitches, the knitting stitches. So I know it has more time to go. But oddly enough, the straps are starting to felt very nicely. See how it's starting to not look like knitting anymore? It still has some determination distinguishing features. But this is my technique. It's a good one. It doesn't use a lot of water. And the funny thing is, if I was looking at my washing machine, I'd be opening up my washing machine and pulling it out and squeezing it for the whole time that it was in there anyway. So I just do it with my little blender instead. Yeah, this isn't felting off yet. Well, it'll look different. It'll look start to look a little bit different. See, that's the first indicator that I got some fuzz off. But that's just one little piece. The rest isn't going yet. So I'm going to keep agitating, keep rubbing, keep nice and hot. Keep agitating this thing because it definitely has to get smaller. You can feel a little bit in the difference of it, how it feels. I think we are there. See how the stitches are beginning to disappear? Squeeze out the sudsy water, rinse it in cold water, and throw it in the dryer on high for about 20 minutes. So our project has come out of the dryer and it's still damp. Now all I have to do is put it outside on a nice clean towel and let it dry completely. But make sure you don't lay it in the sun. We're all done. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos and events. Happy felting!